I was diagnosed in 99 um, at the ripe old age of 27 with a very rare, very large primary brain tumor. The doctor explained to me that even though these are rare, I was rare within rare. And that's because of the speed at which Al Lupiano's tumor grew. But fast forward to 2021 and rare became a word he'd get all too used to. His wife and sister were also diagnosed with rare brain tumors on the same day. He said the oncologist was stunned. He says the three of you together are just, it's like all three of you getting hit by lightning on the same day because it's just that rare. And that's what started me asking questions of who else has this. The results were shocking. He found 15 of his high school friends also with rare cancers. Then he took to Facebook, and that number skyrocketed to 65. Last week, he told his story on national news, and he's now at 80. The only connection between all of them, they were all at Colonia High School in Woodbridge Township from the 70s to late 90s. Many, including his sister, died of their disease. What's even more concerning is the number of teachers and staff affected. They don't live there. They work in the school. They go home to different parts of the state. And I said, that's telling that all these people who only work in the high school are also affected means there's more to this story. When he started digging further, many of these people told him how they had what doctors called curious cancers, telling him. I have this cancer that the doctor said they've never seen before. Super rare or only people that were exposed to nuclear radiation as a child living next to a power plant that was contaminating their water have this. One individual said they were told they've only seen this cancer in Agent Orange victims from Vietnam War. And I said, how are all these curiosities coming to me? And the only common denominator is Colonia High School. Lupiano spent his career in environmental science testing ground samples for toxins, so he knew that a test of the grounds around the high school could reveal a possible hazard. He reached out to Woodbridge Mayor John McCormick for help. Started a conversation with him and then involved uh, Dr. Massimino here with the school district. Um, we, we took it serious enough based on the numbers he had. Uh, we knew we had to go help him get to the next level because we as public officials can get to the state and federal governments easier than a, a citizen. So we hooked up conversations with the Department of Health and the Department of Environmental Protection and also something called the Agency for Toxic Substance Disease Registry. He's asking the EPA for a full federal and state investigation of the land around the high school. There's concern there could be radiation somewhere on the property, something Lupiano discussed with the oncologist. So he says, when you start seeing stuff like this, as a neuroscientist, he says, we look at environmental factors. And I said, I know from 20 years in this field, they've really only determined one environmental factor that increases brain tumors, and that's ionizing radiation. And he said, bingo. What's more concerning, a rock was discovered in a Colonia science classroom that was radioactive. It was donated in the 70s and removed in the late 90s, consistent with the dates of those with cancer. Do you believe that rock could be the culprit here? Or is that too simple of an answer considering the, the rare cancers that have come up now? The rock was reported as high-grade uranium ore. And I couldn't wrap my head around where does a rock like this come from? How does it wind up in a school? I kept seeing references to a secret World War II laboratory about 10, 11 miles away as the crow flies called the Middlesex Sampling Plant. That plant was involved in the development of the nuclear bombs that were used during World War II. And it was part of the Manhattan Project. His further research found that contaminated soil had been removed from that plant, some used as construction fill, right around the time that Colonia High School was built. It's possible that soil could be underneath the high school right now. New Jersey's Department of Health confirmed it's been in touch with the mayor and Lupiano and will work with federal agencies if an investigation is deemed necessary. Spring break starts for Colonia students in about two weeks. Lupiano says that's the perfect time to come out and test these grounds uninterrupted. In Colonia, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News.